Today's Daily Read Aloud is The Troll, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by David Roberts. There once was a troll who lived under a bridge. That's where trolls are supposed to live. Meanwhile, far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived in a ship. That's where pirates are supposed to live. Trolls are supposed to eat goats, but no goats ever came trip-trapping over this troll's little bridge, so he ate fish instead. But one morning, he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped, and he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is, Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? I'm not trip-trapping, I'm scuttling said a tiny black creature, and I'm a spider. Ah, bother! I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, said the spider. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. You'll make a nice change from fish. Ah, please don't eat me, said the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's a much better bridge for goats. All right then, said the troll. So he packed up his frying pan and his cookery book and off he strode. Pirates are supposed to dig for treasure and these pirates had a treasure map with a rhyme on it. Between the palm tree and the rocks, six foot deep lies a treasure box. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. Start digging. The pirates dug and they dug, but all that they found was a grumpy mole. Ah, it must be the wrong island, they said. All that digging had made them hungry. It was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking. He cooked a fish pie. It's soggy said Perch Patch. It's slimy, said Peg Polka Dot. When we find the gold, we can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they all set sail again. The troll was sitting under his new middling-sized bridge, reading his cookery book. Suddenly, he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? He roared. I'm not trip-trapping, I'm pattering, said a furry creature, and I'm a mouse. Oh, bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. I'm getting sick of fish. Ah, please don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip-trapping over that one all the time. Very well, said the troll, and he packed up his things again, and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. They dug and they dug, but all that they found was a rusty old bucket with a crab in it. It's the wrong island again, they said. That night, Percy Patch did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. It's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's briny said Peg Polka Dot. If only we could find the gold, we could pay for a proper cook, said Hank Chief. The troll was frying fish under his new big bridge when he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? He bellowed. I'm not trip-trapping, I'm lolloping, said a creature with long ears. And I'm a rabbit. Ah, bother! I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No! Goats have hoofs, said the rabbit. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. Anything's better than fish. No, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk down to the next bridge? There are herds of goats trip-trapping over that one. Are you sure? asked the troll. Once again, he packed up and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug, but all that they found was an old Wellington boot with a nest of centipedes in it. 
We'll never find the right island, they said. That night, it was Peg Polka Dot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. They're sticky, said Ben Buckle. They're sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. Mm. The Trolls River grew wider and wider. Then it stopped being a river and it flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. There isn't another bridge, he said. That rabbit was tricking me. But then he spotted some hoof prints in the sand. A goat at last, he cried. He looked around, but he couldn't see any goats. Never mind, it will probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the hoof prints. They led him to a spot between a tall palm tree and two big rocks. I know, he thought. I'll dig a pit. Then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can eat it. The troll dug and dug with his frying pan. Just when he thought the hole was deep enough, the pan hit something hard. It was a great big chest. Perfect, said the troll. I can hide in here and keep warm. Then, when the goat falls into the hole, I'll open up the lid and pop up. He lifted the lid. The chest was full of round gold things. These are of no use to me, he said, and he threw them all into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and lay down. Tomorrow I can have goat for breakfast instead of fish, he thought as he drifted off to sleep. It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. But somebody's been digging here already, said Ben Buckle. Don't say they've found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. No, look, here it is, cried Peg Polka Dot. The chest was heavy. It must be full of gold, said Hank Chief. Quick, back to the ship before anyone stops us. The troll was woken by a loud bang. That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats couldn't open lids. The lid opened wide, and staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. Oh, I... I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank! The plank! yelled Ben Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk the plank! The next second, the pirates were pushing him onto it. Who's that trip trapping over my plank? jeered Hank Chief. I'm not trip trapping, I'm shuffling, said the troll in a very small voice. And I'm a troll! He reached the end of the plank. His knees were knocking. Jump! yelled the pirates. But just then, Peg Polka Dot came running up. Wait! she cried. I found something else inside the chest. In one hand, she held the troll's frying pan. In the other hand, she held up his cookery book. Stop! called Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook? he asked. Yes, said the troll. And yes, shouted the pirates. Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Oh, thank you, said the troll. And he shuffled back along the plank. When shall I start? Now, said Hank. The pirates showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. He turned to his favourite page in his cookery book. Shall I make us a nice goat stew? He asked. Goat? Goat? But pirates don't eat goat, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. And what's that? Asked the troll. Fish! Said the pirate chief. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. We have a new story every day, so make sure you subscribe. The end.